Indodefense 2014 local company Indomessin is showcasing for the first time a new MLRS for the Indonesian Army and Marines. Behind is the our uh, cooperation, joint cooperation with the Ministry of Defense and uh, PT Pindad and our company Indomessin to develop uh, a rocket launcher. 100, uh, we call it Erhan 122. 122, sorry about that. Uh, this is, that is basically the copy of the Grad BF21 from Russia, but uh, the difference is uh, they had only 24 launcher instead of 40 uh, launcher. Uh, we already tested this rocket launcher in the uh, Garut area, and uh, it can shoot a few rockets, and the, uh, what is the range of the rockets is 14 kilometers to 21 kilometers. It's made by Pindat, the rockets. Uh, these rockets uh, had a, a, a quite sophisticated controller. We use uh, many servo controller and a new fire control system. And the internal uh, control system of the rockets can be launched 60, kilo, 60 meters uh, outside the vehicle. Uh, if you see the rockets, rockets is uh, one of the uh, priority of the Indonesian uh, Ministry of Defense uh, project. Uh, one of the seventh uh, most priority projects. So uh, we hope that uh, every year the development of these rockets will be uh, done and we, we will perfect it, the uh, development of this rocket launcher together with the rockets uh, year by year. Uh, the sassi made locally by the sassi maker from Indonesia. As you know that uh, in Indonesia we had uh, quite sophisticated uh, uh, automotive makers but usually so, uh, they supplied the uh, commercial one, like uh, Hino, Mitsubishi and everything. Uh, they had uh, one or two census maker and we made it made uh, uh, to that, that company. The engine is uh, from Mercedes engine. They get 260 horsepower, uh, 2100 RPM. Uh, and but the axles is come from China, the Dongfeng axles. Uh, we put all together, uh, but the body is made uh, locally by the, uh, our company using galvanized uh, 1.5 millimeters uh, plate. Well, uh, like I said, we said before, uh, we had 24 uh, tube launcher uh, inside of this. Uh, uh, for Indonesian uh, technology, this is quite new. Not the launcher, but the uh, operation of the uh, launcher. Because uh, this is the first time we uh, actually use the linear actuator and the uh, surfer actuator, the control one, the rotary one. And this uh, launcher, the, this launcher can incline to uh, 75 degree, and uh, uh, to the right and to the left, it can be uh, uh, plus 90 degree and minus 90 degree. Uh, um, in our next research, uh, we hope next year we can uh, higher the speed of the uh, uh, movement of the motor, so uh, it can be ready in uh, three minutes before uh, launch. The rockets. The construction is uh, uh, some kind of like copying BM21, but the technology is different. The old BM21, uh, uh, they only had a manual uh, manual mechanism. Uh, right now, we use a me uh, mechanic electronics mechanism, and uh, the old BM21 doesn't have many sensors. We use uh, in kilometer sensors. We use the GPS. So uh, when the uh, user want to uh, move the rockets and aim the target. They just put the G GPS coordinate, and the uh, module will uh, go uh, to the uh, what is it? The direction of the GPS. Uh, that's uh, quite different with the BM21. Uh, uh, why we are copying BM21? Because the Indonesian military already uh, uh, had BM21 before. The, the Marine used it, and uh, that's why uh, all the development of the uh, rockets. Uh, go to the uh, uh, marine, uh, what is it, specification. And they need 122 millimeters diameter rockets uh, uh, that had the same uh, configuration with the BM21. We will uh, uh, make another one uh, next year, but uh, uh, for the next year, probably only the sassy is not the truck. So it can be uh, towed with uh, some head truck and everything. Yeah.